business model in this in this great age of disparity uh, is really uh, a challenging job to make it sustainable, cost-effective, pro-people, pro-people business and sustainable model. Now, if you accumulate all our export, all our business, can we equate with our remittance? No way. And where is our concentration? Always governments and others. We lack substantial concentration on migration sectors. Our budget allocation is very poor on migration sectors. We treat this money as granted. We never really focused on skill development. Never ever. Our universities never ever focused on migration friendly education system. Our technical and vocational institutes, we call them engineers, none of them treated globally as engineers. So why we call them engineers? Why never level up them? I don't know. Resource allocation, we mostly focus on infrastructure and that's a wrong model of business of development so far as my understanding is concerned. Because I read somewhere that after the Second World War, Japan and Germany come back to become an economic superpower because they have already skilled manpower. And if you consider the Bangladesh situation, we don't have any resource except good manpower. And if you look into the business, our business is always dominated by three B factors. Big, bad businessmen. And when they influence politics, or they are part of politics, they create a situation of patrimonialism or neo patrimonialism where they really influence the lawmaking for their business interest. They influence the top level for their business interest. I can give you one example. I don't want to give it in this forum because I am not here to criticize the government. Recently, Malaysia says that they will not take people from Bangladesh except it is sent to 25 listed agencies, which is absolutely violation of human rights, absolutely violation to anti-competition law, absolutely violation, violation to Malaysian law, absolutely violation to our law. And it is completely accepted by government. You see the influence of business community. Rather than distributing the opportunity amongst 1,700 agencies, all, all over the Bangladesh, government is more than willing to concentrate it in only 25 agencies. That's I call 3B factors is there. Now come to the regional imbalance business model. Of course, if you look into the North region and comparison the distribution of resource and budget with other part of the country, you will see huge, huge, huge visible disparity. Of course, the present prime minister is allocating good projects to this North region, some river protection and some breeze, but still the disparity is huge. And the poverty level, if you look into the North and other region, obviously Sari is there, our renowned economist, region, North is more uh, poor people than the other side. And if you also look into the migration opportunity, in North Bengal you will only five, five to seven recruiting agencies who are at the moment working in recruiting sectors. In my district, Kaivanda, there is no recruiting agency, so migration opportunity is very less there. Now come to the education side. If you look at the universities, how many universities North Bengal or Rangpur division have, and how many universities other divisions have? There you also you will find a disparity. I just mentioned last week in the parliament, Rangpur is the only metropolitan city who is have only one university. All other metropolitan cities have more than one university. Why this disparity? I don't know. The politics must be in the right direction. If the politics is in the right direction, business will be right automatically because people want to do business. People want to make profit. And all politics, a good politics will create an environment for that. If the politics is the wrong direction and your business policy is, or your economic policy based on politics or vote bank, that's create a problem. One reason could be North Bengal was mostly dominated by Jatiya Party for long. And we have a missing decades for development for North Bengal. For one decades, we didn't have any visible mega project or big projects in North Bengal. Still now, someone says, I don't know the authenticity. There is no technically speaking mega project in North Bengal at the moment. We are in the era of mega projects, but there is no mega projects in North Bengal or Rangpur division. So how to create this imbalance situation is balance. I say we have to, have to shift the bottle. So that we can 
So North resource allocation must be used. We don't have a specific river islands or chore development board in this country. We don't have a climate friendly mega project in this country. In my constituency, I can see we used to have 16 union. Now we have 15 union. One union gone, disappeared from the from the map. And where the inhabitants of this of the union gone, we don't know. So this this resilience and adaptation and also uh, economic integration process we need for North Bengal or for the tribal areas or some other part of the country. Um, I think it's high time to unleash the business opportunity. This country's people have exceptional capacity for development. Exceptional. If we unleash the opportunity, people will take the opportunity and they will explore it. Low cost labor is not a dignified phenomena for any country. It's a form of slavery, of course. And a country's dignity should be justified whether they provide low cost labor or high cost labor. I think many countries stop giving low cost labor. We are uh, produce, we are giving low cost labor internally in garment sector. We are also sending low cost labor externally in Middle East and other country. And that does not commensurate with our development phenomena or so called development phenomena. If we, if we develop so much, why people are working under uh, this distress, low waste condition in home and abroad? So there must be some missing link in our development policy. It's not fully inclusive. It has to be inclusive, it has to be open, and the big three big B, the influence of three big B must be reduced. And, and then also, we, we the, the, I'm just finishing, because the government takes so much loan from bank, and this three B, they also take so much loan from bank. Little option left for businessmen or true businessmen for loan opportunities. So right to loan, right to small loan, right to get loan, right to development. This should be the part of the business model and part of the development process. Thank you.